set this up. And here today with another practice problem in, in Python, uh, exploring data structures and algorithms. And ooh, just double checking, getting my chat open here. Today we're going to do a little bit of an easier one um, because I was feeling lazy, uh, but still pretty in in interesting. So yep, there we go. So let's, with that said, let's hop right into it. So today we're going to do plus one, and it's given a non-negative integer represented as a non-empty array of digits plus one to the integer. Um, you can kind of see that there's not a whole lot of likes on this one. There's there's double the dislikes. Um, I think the English isn't super great on this, uh, but it's good practice. So we're not just going to say you know return digits plus equals one. That's going to be a little bit more complicated than that because we have an array. Uh, so you may assume that the integer does not contain any leading zero except the number zero itself. Very important thing. Everything that's told to you in one of these practice problems in an interview um, is is interesting. Uh, hey, thanks for joining us, uh, Lavender JMK and Coder Eli. Uh, we're we're going to hop in uh, right into this plus one. Uh, the digits are sorted such that the most significant digit is at the head of the list. So let's go to the big board. So we have a list of you can kind of think of one, two, three, four, and this would represent the number 1,234. So this is an, uh, the head of the list. So that's kind of relatively straightforward. Um, I think it's good. One approach, one really good approach for these type of problems is to uh, think about different examples. Um, so let's say we have number 15. So that's represented as 1, 5. So what do we want to return? Well, that's pretty simple. We just want to return 1. And I probably should have thought about whiteboarding a little bit more of the space, but hopefully you can see that. 1, 6. So you can think, OK, that's pretty straightforward. What's, what's the kind of interesting thing behind the, this problem? Well, it's, it's when you switch over. It's when you carry the one, right? So if you have number 19, that becomes a little interesting, right? Because over here, you're just adding one, and then you're returning that. that, that that's fairly straightforward, right? Uh, the 19 is a little more interesting because you increment the one, because we're carry, carrying the one, and then the nine becomes the zero, because we're in a, a uh, digits 10 is what we're concerned with. We're not concerned with binary or anything like that. So we want to keep an advantage of, of this. And then there's also another case. So let's say if you have just a 9 or maybe a 99. Well, what do those become? Well, these are more interesting because in Python lists and, and, and uh, a lot of other languages, arrays, we, we need to actually increase the uh, number of elements in this. So the 9 becomes a 1, 0, and the 99 becomes 1, 0, 0. All right. So these these three cases basically show us everything we, we need to know. Um, so let's not quite put the pen, pen to paper, but let's go back to the small screen here. and. Let's think about this. So that top case is easy. We're just going to look at the, the, the digit, increase it by one, and then return the list. So something that we're also we're concerned with, we're adding from the right. So we want to be um, counting from the end of the list and, and then moving forward. And basically, so there's, there's two conditions. One is we see a, a, a nine. And one is we don't. We don't see a nine at the top case. We just increase it, and, and then then we're at the uh, and then we're done. Um, if we do see a nine, well, all we have to do is make that a zero, right? Um, and then we move on to the next thing. Um, if we don't see a nine, we're ready to just break out of everything. And then the final condition is if you see all nines, then we want to actually increase. Uh, the elements in our list. So that's basically all there is to it. Um, and so one approach to doing it is to just code out exactly what we just said right there and not too much time at all. So let's keep a, um, a count of the number of digits and we're going to 
this is the very common way to write in Python counting from the end. Um, so we want to do n minus 1, otherwise we're going to be out of bounds. We count to negative 1 by negative 1, but we don't reach. So for loops in Python, I think every language, um, are inclusive on, on the, uh, the front, and then uh, what they count down to or what they count to are exclusive. So we don't actually reach negative 1 here. We, we reach the zeroth element of the list. But this is what you see in Python uh, to count from the end to the start of the list. Um, and so all we're going to have is are those two different cases. So if whatever digit is less that we're looking at is less than nine, increment increase that and then add and then uh, return. And that's how you write this in Python. Otherwise, else, and this this the way that we write this with a for loop. We keep track. If we have like two nines, then we'll 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 still be fine. We just say okay. Digits of i equals zero. So going back to the big board real quick. If we had another example of two nine nine. So what would this do? We count from the end. We count from the second element. Um, this digits would become, we'd say, okay, is digits less than nine? No, we'll set that to zero. Is this digits less than nine? No, we'll set that to zero. And this is a two, so everything before must have been nines. Let's go ahead and call that 300 and, you know, Sparta. This is Sparta. Um, yeah, so those are our, th those two cases, but we still haven't kept track of if we overwrite all nine, so 999, 999, and so forth. Because in that case, we want to uh, give out 10, 100, you know, 1,000. So we can just simply write it this way. In Python, you can instantiate a list by just saying, you can call this new number. And I'm, I'm taking this from uh, someone else, but I'm making some, some modifications. So thank you, anonymous user. Uh, but new number will be just a bunch of zeros, except it's not the length of digits, it's the length of digits plus one. So it's n plus one. And, and then all we're going to do is set the first element in that to one. And then you're going to return new number. All right. So that is our coding por portion. Let's go ahead and test it out. Uh, let's do it. Before we submit the solution, we want to uh, test in our old noggins. Um, so for i in range of uh, starting from the end of the list, if it's less than 9, increase it and return it. Otherwise, call it, make it 0. And at the end of the day, um, make this number. If it's 9, make it 10. If it's uh, 99, make it 100. So let's go ahead and submit that solution, and hopefully we got everything good. Drink a little water. Good, we're accepted. Let's go ahead and see the details. Uh, 28.67. Before I've had this uh, be faster, you never know. It's not, um, there's some probability to this. Um, but I think we can speed this up a little bit. So let, let's go ahead and see. So we're not sure. It's like not every time it's going to be 28%, but I think it can be a little bit faster. Um, so let's actually go to uh, Stack Overflow. Uh, Python append to front of list, which is exactly what I did beforehand, and I can see here. But um, I, I've had some people kind of talk to me uh, a little bit about the um, about oh, what do you actually do as a software engineer, and a lot of a lot of days spent on Stack Overflow. Um, so I definitely want to show that off here. Um, so append an integer to the beginning of a list in Python. Uh, there's one way to do it right here. Um, so that looks pretty Pythonic to me. Uh, so we, if we could take that knowledge and we would just say, okay, well, instead of this stuff, we already have a digits. We've written everything up as, as zero. So let's go ahead and return one plus digits. And so we'll go ahead and, and submit that solution.
and wait and drink water and see that it's accepted. And we can see that this one looks like it's faster. Um, maybe. We, we didn't run a bunch of tests. Um, the code is definitely neater, though. This, to me, looks a little bit better than what we were doing before. Um, less lines, that's for sure. And it seems pretty clear. Um, but if we actually go to that Stack Overflow, we can see uh, Marcel Pfeiffer says, uh, if you do list.insert, at the zeroth element with what you're doing is around five times faster than this method that we just did. So keep this in mind if you're doing this many times. So let's go ahead and try that. Uh, so we want to do digits dot insert at the zeroth element, a one, and then we just want to turn digits. Let's see if this is the quickest. At least in the small sample set. I won't bore you guys with uh, running a bunch of uh, tests. Back to 28.67%. I believe this one is faster. I won't, I won't do a bunch of tests. Um, but you find the, uh, the leak code servers in, uh, different states. Um, but yeah, that's, that's just kind of interesting ways. And just a little baby thing of like, okay, what, what can I do with the, with the stack overflow to kind of, uh, think about, oh, how, how do I optimize my code? So, uh, this was uh, Leak Code 66 plus 1 uh, by Programmer Mitch. Thanks for tuning in very much. It's a Pythonic solution uh, using just a simple um, um, if statements, conditionals with, with the lists. Uh, with that said, I uh, hope, hope you enjoyed. This is an e easy one. Maybe we'll have a little bit harder one next week. And uh, thanks a lot for tuning in.